In this tutorial, we'll look at installing and registering FL Studio for OS X on a Mac. We'll then see how to install Windows VST plugins. First, download and save the OS X FL Studio installer and your flregkey.reg file from your ImageLine account on your Mac. This is a special installer and not the usual one found on our downloads page. I've put both files on the desktop. Run the installer by clicking on the zip file. After it's completed, you'll get an FL Studio application icon. Click the FL Studio icon to open the program. I'll move it to the applications folder. The first time you run FL Studio, it can take quite a long time as Crossover sets up the files in the background. So be patient. From this point, you can run FL Studio in demo mode and test it on your Mac. Or if you own FL Studio, you can unlock it. To do this, select the FL Studio menu from the Mac menu bar. Choose Register FL Studio. Then browse to the location of your regkey.reg file and open it. After restarting the program, FL Studio will now be registered to the version you purchased. Now let's optimize performance. Go to your audio settings and choose the Core ASIO driver and set the buffer latency to something your computer can handle. I'd suggest starting with 1024 samples and then work up or down from there. So let's install a VST plugin. While this version can run VSTs, we can't make any promises nor support compatibility issues with your VST plugins that you choose to install. The OS X version is provided as is. If it works for you, then great. If not, please use Bootcamp. Download the Windows 32-bit install file for the VST you're interested in. Then with FL Studio open, use the Mac menu bar and select the File Run command. Browse to the downloaded location of your VST installer. Select the file and open. Then run. This will start the VST installation. Now work through the installer's wizard. What you see here will depend on the plugin. I'll accept the default install location. You can choose another location, but make note of where it is, as you'll need to know it later. And here, we want the 32-bit version only. Next, in FL Studio, open the options, file settings and match the VST plugins extra search folder to the location where you installed the VST plugin. In this case, it's the Steinberg folder. Any VST installed in the folder set here or subfolders within it will be found by FL Studio. So it's important that once you choose a custom VST install location to use it for all future plugins. Finally, we need to scan for the new plugin. From the channels menu, select Add one, more. Then, from the bottom of the list, select Refresh and Fast Scan. The VST plugins show at the bottom of the list. Click the F Favorite icon to make it visible from the normal Add Plugin menus. Now I can select the VST from the Channels Add One menu. And that's it. We hope you enjoy the custom crossover wrapped FL Studio install. Please check the links in this video for more information and the Mac installer. Enjoy!